Hi guys, Rick here with you again from LearnTVProduction.com. I'm sure you put a lot of work into the photos you take. And when it comes time to editing those photos, you want to make sure you're using the right software. Today I'm going to look in depth at some of the problems you have and how you can best solve them. Don't go anywhere. Today I'm going to help you find the best photo editing software for a PC that will give you the results you're looking for. Finding the best photo editing software for photographers can be tricky, so I'm going to compare two very popular programs and see how they stack up against each other. The two programs I'm going to look at are Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 6 and Corel PaintShop Pro X8, both of which get top ratings. So, which is really the best professional photo editing software for you? We're going to check it out here today. First of all, if you're a Mac user, unfortunately you can't use PaintShop since it only is, uh, it's only put out for Windows. Mac users might want to consider Apple Aperture as an alternative. But, for the rest of us, let's look more deeply into which of these two would be the best editing software for a photographer. It's worth mentioning up front that Lightroom lacks many of the features for editing non-photographic images that the full Photoshop program has, but that doesn't stop it from being in the running here for the best photo editing software for photographers. So when it comes to handling, uh, when it comes to file handling, both systems will work with your JPEGs as well as RAW files. But if you do design work as well, PaintShop will handle bitmap, vector, and HDR files too which may be useful flexibility to have available to you in your uh, photo editing kit. Working with any software has a learning curve, but ease of use is important to get up to speed quickly. And here I'd say PaintShop has a more intuitive interface um, than Photoshop Lightroom, while sharing all the basic editing tools. Lightroom has some extra editing features like shadow and selection editing plus sharpening, and these are tools you may want to have access to. However, PaintShop offers the speed of autocorrection, which is certainly a big plus. When handling some of the more complex corrections, PaintShop could be a bit slow compared with Lightroom. But overall, on the variety of tools and features, it seems that PaintShop comes out ahead. Good photography software is also helpful with organizing a growing collection of uh, images that you may have, as well as simplifying importing and exporting files and sharing them around. Both Photoshop, Lightroom, and Corel PaintShop offer face tagging. Keep track of every picture with Aunt Mary in it, as well as storage by GPS location, which is great if you travel a lot. It's also nice to have access to help and support for when you get into a tight spot. Both programs have tutorials and online resources you can draw from, as well as forums, but PaintShop also has live chat and can be contacted by phone. So that's got to be a plus for most users. Price is always going to be an, an important consideration for everyone, uh, and there is a bit of a difference here. Adobe Photoshop Lightroom will set you back around 150 US, while Corel PaintShop is cheaper in the 30 to $50 range. This is certainly a difference that might concern you if you only do limited editing, but otherwise, if you consider it superior, the higher price for Lightroom is not really a deal breaker, especially as it's alternatively available to you uh, via subscription for just $10 a month, so that's a little easier on the pocketbook. Overall, it seems that PaintShop offers more, especially if you're not already familiar with working in Photoshop. So I'm gonna give the nod on this one to PaintShop it would definitely be my pick out of these two highly competitive pieces of photography software. I hope you found this comparison helpful. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if there's a third option that you're considering out there that I haven't thought of. And before you go, click on one of my other videos you see here. If you're into photography and production, I know you'll find them helpful. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when I post another video. Thumbs up, all is appreciated. Bye for now, guys.